In this demonstration, we're going to be working with CSS rounded corners and drop shadows. A long, long time ago, the only way that you could make rounded corners and have drop shadows was by creating images. CSS, thankfully, has given us the capability of doing that without doing images. Like borders themselves, we can control an upper left corner border, an upper right corner border, a bottom right corner border, and a bottom left quarter border, or we can control all four of them with a shorthand. In this demonstration, we're going to take the layout that we've been working with already. We're going to add curves to our menu, make them look a little bit similar to a folder, and add a drop shadow behind them. Our finished product is going to have a rounded left-hand corner with a small black border all of our links still in place, and a drop shadow. Here's our starting point. If you remember correctly from our earlier example, we're going to leave a lot of this here. We'll be making some changes. We're going to have no bullets on our menu, so we're making it a list style equal to none. We are having them floating left, so they will be horizontal. We're giving them a margin of 10 pixels straight across and we're going to add some padding to the right currently. We will be changing some of this. Our menu will still not have any bullet points, so we leave our list style equal to none. We're still going to float those left up against each other so that we'll have a horizontal menu. Our first change is going to be to our margin. We're going to decrease it a little bit and just have a top margin. And we're going to change our padding so that it has a 25 pixel all the way around. Let's add our border. And we're going to give it a curve right at the moment. From this, you should know that our top border is going to be thin along the top. It will be a solid design and the line will be black. If you can understand this from your reading, you know that we're affecting the top left corner and we're giving it a radius of 35 pixels. Finding 35 pixels is a nice, even, very distinct rounded corner. So let's take a look at what it looks like so far in Firefox. I'm going to save, run, launch in Firefox. And as you can see, we have created the 35 pixel radius and a top line. Adding drop shadows with a box shadow is not a difficult thing to do. You should know the syntax and understand it before you start to work with it. So let's take a look at it. First of all, of course, you need the selector name, what it is that you are adding the box shadow to. None is default, and if you have none, you don't need to have box shadow listed. On the other hand, if you're trying to remove it from an inherited piece, you would have that none. H shadow is the horizontal distance offset of the shadow. V shadow is the vertical offset from the original thing. Blur is how much of a blur distance, so if it's not solid, then we're going to blur it out. Spread is the overall size of the shadow. And color is an optional telling you what color you want. The default is black. Okay, let's add the box shadow to our code. So it's box shadow and our horizontal offset will be 10 pixels. We want it even both ways, so we're going to have a 10 pixel offset vertically. We're going to have a 5 pixel blur and we're going to keep it black save and let's run it. As you can see we've now added a drop shadow to our boxes. In order to make this stand out just a little bit more I'm going to add a different background color.
refresh. You can see now we have a little bit different color between our base navigation and our tabs. The last thing that I'd like to do is I'd like to take away the underline from our navigation and we're going to do text decoration none and whether it's visited or an active link I want to make my color black. So our last refresh here so you can see now that we have completed our layout the graphics missing so I'm going to add that back in really quickly and I happen to know the path to that graphic. Reload one last time and there we are. Hope you enjoyed watching. Hope it made sense to you. Keep watching.